March. So glad you're all here. Today I have my special guest. You're going to really like this young man. He's special. Yeah. His name is Maxwell Friedman. And he's been really doing great things with his talent. So we're so honored to have you, Maxwell. I can see you all now. Yeah. Here we go. Brian Gallagher. Good to see you. Hey, by the way, were you able to find that full back feature on the mojo? We could talk, all right? Hey Jazz Ryan. 
Oh, good. Hey, Gordy. I feel like playing some synth. I'm so excited today because I got a special guest and those that know on Mondays I feature one of my students to do a performance on my show and thanks to the electronic highway called the internet it's a pretty cool software today it's pretty possible so today coming all the way from Bend Oregon will be my young guest, actually, still in high school. 
He just reminded me we've been studying for five years together. He's quite a young man and one of the fine upcoming players that you'll ever see. So you're going to really enjoy this. Welcome to the show. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Tony Monaco show. It's so great to have you all on this beautiful Monday. And spring is definitely here. They said it already arrived right on the calendar. So where we are, spring, it's Monday, the 22nd of March. And um, man, what a beautiful day to have uh, all my friends here. And I didn't just go away. I just pushed the wrong button, that's all. But you know, it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. What the heck, right? What are we going to do? So in this pandemic, one of the most precious things that's happened is I've been able to develop the ability to bring on a guest on Zoom and not foul up the uh, broadcast. At the very beginning, I tried to do this, and I found that when I did it on the same CPU, somewhere in the middle of the broadcast, the uh, computer would go haywire. And one of my young friends, students, he happens to be here today, Christopher Rakowski said, hey, you know, gamers, they use a video capture card. So I bought a video capture card, and that allows me now to use a separate computer to have the broadcast ready. So without further ado from me, I am so honored to present to you Maxwell Friedman. You're really going to enjoy him. Hey, Max, how are you, man? I'm good, Tony. How are you? Man, I'm okay. We're just making lemons out of lemonade, you know. <laughs> what do you got Super over there? Excited to be here. Oh, I've got the Hammond SKX here. It is uh, the clone that I am using. Okay. As I am an artist affiliated with Hammond Organ Company. Okay. And um, yeah, I thought it'd be appropriate because there's better better lighting upstairs. And um, I can't get the B3 up here. Yeah, so. I know, man. But it looks good. I like I, we can, we've we got the mirror on the side there. So it's kind of really cool. I got like a double view of you. Yeah. So, man, without further ado for me, Maxwell, why don't you do your thing? Sure thing. Thank you. 
Wow, Maxwell. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Man, you gotta you you won't believe all the beautiful comments that uh, we're receiving here about you. That always makes me super, 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 super happy. And so it looks like mom's here too, man. Hi, mom. <laughs> you gotta say hi to mom. Hello. <laughs> wow, Maxwell. Was that last piece an original tune, man? Yeah, yeah, that's an original tune called Raise the Four that I wrote at um, the University of Oregon Jazz Camp two summers ago. Oh, be darned, man. I remember first meeting you. I was playing with Fareed. Was it the High Sierra Jazz Festival? Yeah. That was, was like that five years ago, and you were with your dad. Mm -hmm. And I remember meeting this young man. And somebody came up to me and said, this this young man uh, loves your music, and he wants to meet you. And I met you. And uh, next thing I know, I was talking to, to mom about being your online instructor. And here we are. You know, listen to you. Wow. A couple of people asked, what are your influences? That's a, that's a great question. Specifically for Oregon, I think a big one for me right now is Larry Young. That's always been a super big influence for Oregon. Um, if you hear the, the stuff that I do wh where I stack force and when I mess around with um, the fourth a lot, that's really influenced by Larry Young and um, also McCoy Tyner on piano is a, was a big influence as well. Some other influences I have are definitely Jimmy Smith. I think listening to Jimmy Smith and listening to Tony play actually is what got me really into wanting to play jazz organ. Um, on other keyboard instruments, Herbie Hancock is a huge influence. Coltrane's always been a huge influence for me as well in how I approach soloing, how I solo. Um, along that same vein, uh, Kamasi Washington, who's a modern player, is a big influence. And then um, Bobby Sparks, who played organ occasionally with uh, the group Snarky Puppy, and he's just a phenomenal player also a, a big influence but most of my influences are the late 60s 70s keyboard and organ players i think any anybody who did the jazz fusion funk stuff that's like my top i that those are the people i idol the most well you know people don't know you can swing real hard too and i did i was surprised that you didn't play donna lee uh, you still have it in you man yeah I, I want to hear. Play. I want these people to hear that that you can swing like crazy too. Okay. Yeah. If, if you're feeling it, man. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> 
Let's do it. We love this song together.
Kyle Maxwell. <laughs> I knew you were going to burn you. that. I knew you were going to burn that. <laughs> I love that song. I love that song. <laughs> we played that. You know what I like about when we do lessons together? I'll play some, and then you play it. Man, your ear is incredible and your talent. And one of the things that you have going for me, for you, that I think people can already see, but I need, I like to, to call it what it is because when you do, then it helps it be more, even more real. Not only do you have a lot of super talent, but you're humble and you have showmanship. So you present a good package. I always told you, I think you're going to go very far if you choose to stay doing this because you have the right ingredients. And one of the most important things I know you have is your parents, man. I remember when I came to play at Joe's uh, concerts, uh, your parents were so lovely. They invited me over for dinner, and we had dinner when your little brother, he plays the drums. Yeah. And you guys are just a super tight family. And, uh, man, you made me very proud today, Maxwell. Thank you. Thank you. I, I honestly, I can't do it without you and my parents and everybody at your show who tuned in and listened to me play. That's that's what keeps me going and keep, keeps me doing this uh, this music stuff and playing organ. So I'm incredibly grateful, and I, I hope everybody enjoyed what I had to play. I'm, I'm just stoked to be here, and I'm stoked to share what I love to do with everybody. Fantastic, Maxwell. Thank you very much for uh, agreeing to do this today. That takes a lot of courage, number one, and uh, you shined. God bless you. We'll see you real soon, I know, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Likewise. Thank you so much, Tony, and everybody who watched. It was, it was a pleasure. It was a real pleasure to play for everybody. Thank you, Maxwell. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fine young man. I'm a little emotional. I, those who know me real close, I, I get touched when I'm touched, you know, and I get touched when there's uh, real goodness, you know. And uh, this guy, he's a, uh, he's an incredible young man. So, thank you for joining me today on my show. Uh, I put some links on the bottom how you can find Maxwell. Uh, he's got a already. He's got it going. He's got the social media thing going. He's got the talent, and he's got the right attitude. So. As long as I'm in the picture, I'm going to do everything that I can to help him. And um, it's just incredible to be part of it, along with uh, his support network, uh, his friends, his students, his parents, and his uh, dedication to practice. And he's not playing music for the wrong reasons. He's playing it for the right reasons. So, uh, As you know, ladies and gentlemen, I feature my students because I like to teach online. And that's one of the ways that I make a living. So if you go to b3monaco.com, there's a couple of things you can do to help support me and what I do. One is you can start out with your first lesson with me. I offer one for only $30, and I record everything. So you come to me. Uh, it's just like this show. Uh, we'll have a good time. Assess things. And if you decide you want to go further, look, during COVID, I've lowered all my prices so that it's affordable for everyone. Doesn't matter whether you purchase one, two, or five. They're all the same price. So go to my lessons page on B3 Monaco, and you will uh, be able to take an online personal lesson with me, and it's for real, just like Maxwell. Now look, at the top, though, you can see that I offer something here. It's called a school. So if you go to the school here, what this is, is it's a subscription service and you could do a three-day free trial and it has over 200 hours worth of some of my classic instructional videos some of my guests and also a lot of the classes that I offer so take a trial and if you like it I think you're gonna find out that it's uh, also very advantageous if you're not one for personal online lessons maybe you feel a little bit funny about it or scared some people are scared but i want you to tell i want you to know don't be scared i'm like this you can't be scared of me <laughs> i tell everybody i said just think when you're playing that i'm listening to find out what i can do to help you play better and that's what i'm about uh, because there's no room 
in music for anything else but support especially in these hard times when support is all we really want because actually it's very hard to sell CDs but you know what I'm gonna take a stab I do sell CDs and if anybody of you want an autograph CD you could buy them for me I ship them right out of my house believe me I put them in an envelope I sign them and I send them to you so that's another way also I sell instructional videos so if you're not into the school thing you just want to buy a video go ahead I sell DVDs digital downloads and I sell also all of the classes one other way you can do it is you could take a three-day rental fee of $4.99 and watch all of these videos and then you can decide which ones you want to purchase and when you purchase it you get the video and all of the data the meticulous data that you can watch and it's really kind of cool they're only five dollars each so you could become become part of my uh, team that way uh, by the way I just started some play along so if you go to my educational page for just five dollars you can actually refer uh, listen to the whole reference track of each show and they're mixed down in six different mixes one with everything so that you can hear them as a reference one with no bass let me oh uh, you could play the key uh, the bass while I'm playing the keys or you could have yourself play the keys with me playing the bass or once you're ready take it all out and a lot of my students and friends use these and they make videos out of them because they're great backing tracks okay and you can also have they have some with no drums so if you're a drummer you can play along with me or if you're a sax or guitar player so check those out please one last thing I guess if you go to my support Tony page you can go ahead and give me a gift and use your credit card so if you're not a member of PayPal or any of that funny stuff you could just use your good old credit card securely with PayPal that's so cool all right well let's go to the big overhead camera yeah I see I tap this so I'm gonna make a readjustment on my pedals there we go the pedals all right I feel like swinging after that what the heck hey congratulations once again to Maxwell for playing so beautifully and uh, he's just a, a great young man thank you Maxwell all right let me see I'm gonna play a kind of a up medium swing all right we'll kind of have fun I haven't played this in a while so let's play one of these Thank you. 
song uh, it's got a lot of soul and speaking of larry young that he was talking about i like the version that larry young played of speak low very interesting with joe henderson and uh, grant green and elvin jones of course one of the great organ combinations you know in the history of this instrument the beginning of it especially there is certain combinations that um you just you can't ignore like I like to think of, you know, when you go before Jimmy Smith, of course, it was a whole little bit different thing. Uh, you had more organ assimilated into big band, more pedal playing. Uh, when Jimmy Smith came, he kind of changed the game with the left hand bass and the pedals together, like I play. I learned from uh, listening and some work with Jimmy and, of course, players that play like this, like I like to play. But you can't help but to look at combinations like jimmy smith and donald bailey like that was one of the original uh organ trios uh they had a couple of different uh guitar players thornell schwartz being the first one eddie mcfadden uh that really changed thing and of course once jimmy hooked up with kenny burrell uh you know then that was all that was history but then that trio kind of changed into and morphed into grady tate playing a lot of uh drums with jimmy there's another combination when you listen to Jimmy and Grady and Kenny Burrell, you know, there's a certain love and combination that you can't help. But then you look at Don Patterson, and when you look at Don Patterson, you think of the drummer that's on probably 99% of the cuts that he made, um, Donald Bailey. Uh, not Donald Bailey, I'm sorry. Um, oh, my God, now I just, uh, I shouldn't have said that name, right? Uh, somebody help me. Uh, geez, Donald Bailey and um, God, and I know this name well. Isn't that funny how a name will throw you off? Um, anyhow, 
So that that combination. And then you've got the Grant Green, uh, Joe Henderson, Larry Young, and uh, Elvin Jones combination. And uh, that's another combination that just can't be beat. So let me clear the board. Uh, by the way, uh, there's some links down there if you feel like uh, being a little generous. Of course, they're not ex uh, expected. They're accepted, right? <laughs> All right. Let me play one more before I go because it was a great uh, – Great time having Maxwell here. I really appreciate all of you uh, joining the show. And um, I'm going to play something like Solo. <laughs> James, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to get the camera on me. There, it's blanking out. <laughs> there we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
being interrupted on my job. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what love is, and I don't want to end on a ballad, you know, man. I don't want to sell. I just love to sell carpets. <laughs> hey, I hope you're all doing good. You know, I get my second shot, I think, uh, in about a week and a half. So that's kind of exciting, you know, to be able to take some risks and maybe, uh, you know, go out and play a few gigs. I heard you still want to wear this. So those of you that are not in Miami, <laughs> you know, moon over my hammy. <laughs> You guys ever go to Dennis, Denny's in the middle of the night, you know, after you played all night? <laughs> you order Moon Over My Hammy. Do they still have that on the menu? That always made me crack up. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to funk it out. I found on this uh, uh, drum genius that the funkiest groove is not even in the funky category. All right? Because, you know, some of those funky grooves got this too much of this. You know, that, that gets on my nerves after a while. But this funk number 11. Oh, ho, ho. isn't that groovy? It's pop number 11. So if you go into the pop, rock, country, and all the other category. Welcome, Mady. Hey, what's going on? I remember Casablanca. 
That was one of the best times, man. So this is cool. We'll dedicate this to all of you to take it out. Find a hundred ways, baby.
just remember. I'll be here Wednesday. I hope you all can join in again. It's been a wonderful to have you. bobbin so is the expression pedal <laughs> I don't know why I'm in a good mood I just am it's just probably because you're here God bless you all we'll see you on Wednesday have a nice evening be safe <laughs>